so as you will have seen in our um, last vlog on sort of our trip away we're on a um, fully serviced super pitch eight meter super pitch and they're putting loads of these in at Cofton um, replacing a lot of the old grass pitches with um, with these new pitches all the pitches over the back there when we came a couple of Christmases ago they were all um, grass pitches but yeah so we're on a fully serviced pitch and I just thought I'd see show you our setup and what I think of it so we've got the um, the pipe system that runs straight from the tap into the acro roll with the um, the ball float I think it's called something like that um, yeah <laughs> it took a little bit of uh, getting used to that and getting it the right way and making sure it was all fixed up correctly we kept having water um, leak out of it um, when I first switched it all on uh, it just basically filled up and overflowed from the top um, which I realized I as I as I screwed the cap on the side there um, somehow I turned the the float the, the wrong way up so obviously it was not never gonna shut off like that um, I've also found that you have to make sure you get all these little bits um, connected and, and screwed up tight so like this bit here wasn't done up quite tight enough so that kept leaking water out um, this wasn't done up tight enough um, yeah you just need to make sure it's all done properly um, it is a bit fiddly to be honest I kind of thought that I would just be able to stick it in <laughs> um, and away you go a terrible joke um, yeah I thought we could just put it straight in there and um, it'll all be okay the other thing I found especially with this pitch is which is a sort of a, a criticism I suppose I don't understand why the bollard wasn't in the corner of the actual driveway bit because what you now have is a curb to get up which for the waste isn't ideal the waste water just sits in the pipe otherwise if you don't have anything underneath it of course this being the first time we've tried a super pitch I didn't have any blocks or anything like that um, so I need to I need to equip myself with some blocks of wood just to keep in the caravan um, yeah so I've obviously had to improvise um, it does work but um, yeah the rest of our setup is the um, collapse waste pipes um, which again first time we've used them you know they are what they are everyone raves about them and to be honest yeah they do the job perfectly well you can obviously have um, as many as you need um, yeah they're all right you know they do the job um, one thing I will say is compared to our Swift for some reason Bailey their waste outlets are really far apart so I've I had various waste connectors um, that I've used you know a lot on when we had our Swift um, that I, I obviously kept even though we had the motorhome none of them none of them would fit they wouldn't go wide enough and I didn't have any spare waste pipe so when we came here um, yeah we I worked out that it just wasn't gonna fit so had to go to reception and buy they had another w kit which was the Y connector and the um, longer bits of pipe but even that is still not wide enough as you can see it's not 100% watertight um, it's stretched a bit too far so um, yeah the water is coming out so yeah not ideal I need to um, I need to sort a better solution for that get some more pipe or do it a different way I don't know I'm gonna go to a caravan place and see what I can find and um, yeah so obviously with the super pitch what is very good is your um, you know that you put the hose straight on there food grade hose I believe you have to use um, which I just bought from Amazon um, straight onto the aqua roll and the float um, the tap is on all the time now with this pitch and I, I believe I was speaking to um, someone else opposite us and he was saying on these service pitches you do have to watch the pressure of the taps and this I've literally only got turned probably a quarter of a turn because the, there is a, a lot of pressure on these taps um, 
and you know I don't know maybe they can do damage maybe they can't I don't know same as the pipes that connect straight onto the van um, I believe you can get ones with like a restrictor on but um, I would say probably if you're going to use that method then be slightly careful um, yeah it does work as I say it took a lot of fiddling the first day the first couple of days took a lot of fiddling to get right Keep get, kept getting water leak out of there um, on one time when Vicky was in the shower the aqua roll run dry and it didn't fill back up again but that was because I don't know I hadn't done something right with it so yeah took a lot of fiddling but I think I've sussed it now I've got there now um, and obviously we've got the TV point and the um, hook up there as well and obviously drainage the waste pipe straight in there so your wastewater can go straight in like I say I don't criticism I've got two criticisms of this nice big pitch at Cofton and that is that the bollard wasn't in the corner so you didn't have to go, get up the curb and also um, which I'll show you in a second the the um, the ground the ground underneath the hard stand and is like ridiculously hard so but yeah really nice pitches um, seem to be very popular obviously you can use all year round I'm not too sure about these pipes um, obviously in winter time like how would you use them in the winter I don't know maybe um, for you guys who have used your caravan all year round on a fully serviced pitch maybe you can leave a comment below because um, obviously I don't know can you use them in the winter well, I wouldn't know that so yeah so I just thought I'd give a little insight into fully serviced pitches and this one in particular and are they worth it now obviously the thing with fully serviced pitches is they do cost more generally I believe um, this pitch cost us an additional um, I think it was about £40 for eight nights um, over the top of a normal hard standard pitch so um, I suppose it's, you know when I sort of first thought about it I thought God, that's, that's quite, a, quite a big difference but like I say because there's no toilet block open uh, you know so we're always going to be showering in the van um, you know we normally do if a site has got showers we normally do use the showers on site so just for the ease of not having to fill it up every time and um, you know have that sort of late night oh god the aqua roll's empty I've got to go and fill it up and the, you know empty in the waste I, I think it's worth it for a trip like this um, so eight nights we're here so um, 40 pound not too bad um, would I do it all the time if we were, you know, just a shorter weekend or if the shower blocks are open? Uh, I'm not so sure. Probably, probably not. Is it is going to get water, like, you know, using your Acarol to the tap? Is it too much hard work, especially if you're not showering in the van? I don't really think it's too much of, um, too much effort, to be honest. Um, but that, that being said, we've got another trip booked um, at the end of May. Um, where we're on a fully serviced pitch that's at a caravan and motorhome club site so that'll be interesting to see how that differs um, and if I find it easier to use and whether I have to prop up the waste pipe with a plethora of um, random items um, so yeah so that's all it is really pretty boring vlog this one but I'm sure it might help someone who um, don't know about fully serviced pitches or what equipment you need um, as I say, I am not a professional. It's the first time we've uh, used a fully serviced pitch. I just want to give my viewpoint from it um, in terms of the, the... It's not as easy as just plugging it all straight in. Well, not for me, it wasn't anyway. But I'm not the, I'm not the brightest, put it that way. So, yeah, leave any comments below about your experiences. And, uh, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you again next time. Time for a beer.